I've been using this Unix Books Palma for a few days now, so I wanted to do this kind of review now and tell my thoughts about this Books Palma Android based ebook reader. As you see here on my table, it's very size like like a smartphone. It has almost the same size as my iPhone 13 Pro Max. My iPhone 13 Pro Max is slightly larger though, but uh, it has the same form factor as a smartphone and uh, that could be a plus uh, or maybe a negative thing too when it comes to ebook reading. The huge benefit compared to reading books on a smartphone is that the Books Palma has an e-ink display, an e-ink display, and that means that uh, you can read a lot of books uh, without getting eye strains and the display is very visible outside in direct sunlight for example. Uh, E-ink displays is perfect. The more light you have in the room or outside, the better you see on the display. Actually the complete opposite to a smartphone. The more light you have outside and so on or inside the less you see on the display. Sometimes you can not even read outside in direct sunlight on a smartphone, but you can on an ebook reader with an e ink display. So that's the huge benefit with having a Books Palma, a smartphone sized form factor when it comes to ebook reading. And I must say that it's very fast. I have never seen an E ink display, an ebook reader as fast as this. You can easily browse the web if you want. You can open apps really fast and so on. So that is something I have never seen on an ebook reader before. This is so, so fast. So for example, we can go into uh, Google Play Store here. That is also a huge benefit having uh, this ebook reader because it's running Android 11 and you can easily uh, install apps, any app from uh, the Google Play Store quite easily. And as you can see, you can scroll very fast even that's, that this has an e-ink display. Really, really nice to see that you can do this. And you also has different buttons you can program to do different stuff. So for example, this button I have programmed if I long press, I go back to the home screen like this. And if I do a short press, it updates the e-ink display if you get any uh, artifacts and so on that you often get with an e-ink display when reading and so on. And as I said, you can install different apps and so on. If you need them, I am having this device more like an ebook reader and not a smartphone because you don't have a SIM card. So if I want to use this as a smartphone, I always need to tethering this device to another device. So I have set this up to be more like an ebook reader as I think you should use this device as. So for example, I have co-reader. Co-reader runs awesomely good on this device. It's incredibly good actually to run this. I also have a Storytel account that you can stream audiobooks or stream ebooks. And on this device I use it for ebook reading of course from the Storytel account. Uh, audiobooks I usually listen to on my smartphone because it connects to my car easily and so on and my headphones and all that. Yes, you can connect headphones and even the car with this too, but I think I think this is it's not necessary to do. I, I will have this as an ebook read and nothing else. So I will not listen to anything on this one. Uh, maybe text to speech someday uh, at the same time as a reading the book or something. But otherwise you don't need to listen to this because you only you will maybe have your smartphone with you everywhere anyway. So uh, that is what I do. And you can also install install the Kindle app and read all your Kindle books very easily. Uh, it works great. Uh, huge uh, plus is the Google Play Books app. 
Uh, it works awesomely good on this device. Uh, very, very good, in fact. So I, I was quite impressed by Google Play Books on this device. Kobo Books is not as good to run on this device, unfortunately. But you can, of course, install it and get to all your Kobo Books on this device. Every book you have bought in the Kobo store, you can read on this device too with the Kobo app. I also have a Moon Plus Reader. Pro app installed here that I bought a very long time ago on my Android phone I had for many years ago and I installed it free on this device because I already bought it once so that was nifty but uh, that app is also very good for customization it works a bit like co-reader you can do so much with that app and do some really nice customizations but I usually use this device for Co-reader and Storytel at the moment. But Storytel is not as good um, user experience on this device, unfortunately. But uh, if we start by opening Storytel, you get to the streaming uh, uh, store immediately here, as you see. And uh, if you don't change the in settings to be fast here it's uh, not a good experience uh, i can show you how it looks you see it's, it's where every time you do this it's uh, updates uh, the images and so on very very good very very bad update in my eyes so for example if i open this book uh, that i want to read it opens as a audiobook and starts to play the audiobook as you hear here now. I can pause that and go up here and choose to read instead. Uh, I get this question, read a book, and I click read a book. Now it has opened the book, the ePub book on this Storytel account on my Onyx Books Palma. So now I can tap here to switch pages. I can go back by tapping here. And that is the thing I don't like with the Storytel experience on the Books Palma. I would love to be able to use the volume buttons that I can do with all the other apps like Co-Reader to go back and forward. But I can't do that in the Storytel app. So if I click here, you see I get the volume buttons instead. And the Storytel app doesn't have a setting to use the volume buttons for page turns. So I think the Storytel developers need to add that feature for the Android app. So you can turn pages with the volume buttons instead of having to tap the display. Because yes, this is a smartphone form factor and you easily tap on it. So... Uh, that's great but uh, what I when I want to have it in my left hand that is when uh, the problem exists because now to turn the page I need to either tap at this side or do this swipe and the swiping is very bad uh, in an e ink ePub ebook reader like this because it's so so slow as you see and it's very easy you can easily do wrong here and the the up things you want to highlight for example instead of swiping and that's very very bad experience uh, so when i hold this in my left hand i can't turn the pages as easily and that is very irritating so I usually need to hold it all the time in my left hand in my right hand to turn pages and when I'm reading and that is quite tiresome after a while because I want to switch to my left hand sometimes yes the device is very light in the hand but you uh, want to switch sometimes Anyway, but you can't do that as easily because you can't swipe any good on this device, sadly so. So the Storytel app uh, is not a good user experience, unfortunately, because uh, 
I thought it should be better on this device, so I didn't have to use Storytel's, Storytel's own very, very bad ebook reader. This is not a good build quality and quite terrible to use. So I thought I could use the Storytel app on this and to be having a better user experience. But that is not the case actually because you get a very terrible user experience because of that you can't use these two buttons to switch pages, unfortunately. But CoReader is an absolutely perfect experience on the Books Palma. It's so, so good on the Books Palma. Uh, I, I do this with um, Progress Sync uh, on and everything so I can sync my position in the book with my Kobo ebook readers. So these Kobo readers I have uh, also have a um, co reader install so I can sync my progress between them very, very easily. Uh, because this has uh, almost always Wi-Fi on, so it do that uh, automatically in the background when using CoReader. And I can do everything I do on my Kobo ear readers with CoReader here. You can have a very nice status bar, for example, and I can easily switch pages either with the volume buttons or with tapping. And the, the huge benefit with tapping on this device is that you can program CoReader to have the whole display as your tap zone to go forward in the book. Because you don't often go back in a book and if you want to go back you can easily just swipe back or use the button for go back. So if you have this as your whole tap zone, you can easily hold it in the left hand and just tap on the display to go forward. That is a huge benefit with CoReader. And as you see, it's very fast even with swiping compared to Storytel experience I had. So this is so, so nice to do. It's perfect actually. Really, really nice experience. And you have uh, all the same features as you have on a Kobo reader when it comes to co-reader. You can do all the caliber stuff. You can do um, a lot of taps and gesture programming. You can, as I said, use caliber. You can use ODPS um, databases and you can do progress sync uh, export highlights you can do so much with co-reader on this and i actually love that you can sync where you are in the book with all your other readers running co-reader that is an incredible great feature so co-reader is a huge benefit when it comes to the user experience on the unux unux books palma I think that's the best thing actually with the Books Palma. I will use this mainly for co-reader. It's awesome. So you can of course use Kindle too, if you have Kindle books and so on. Uh, so for example, I, I, don't, I haven't downloaded this book yet because I haven't used the Kindle app on this one. Sorry, but uh, we can go to the location I have. As you see here now, you have uh, the, you can tap to scroll to other pages. You can go back quite easily. And you can tap in the middle to do some settings, of course. We can do the text a lot larger, for example, like uh, this maybe, uh, and so on. And you can go to layout maybe, and we can do the, a line the margins as small as possible uh, we can do the line spacing like this uh, we can do an orientation lock that could be good but um, as you see here uh, I still think that uh, you have two large margins yes it's uh, quite good but um, you can do a lot thinner margins when using co-reader settings 
and all the customizations so then you can do in the kindle app but this is quite good experience a lot better experience than with uh, uh, storytel or with the kobo ebooks uh, so this experience is quite good and it syncs everything between all your kindle ebook readers and this onyx books palma so if you do highlights here it syncs with your other kindle devices that's awesome so you get a lot of great user experience if you are a kindle user so you can use your kindle books your highlights your notes everything and progress sync and everything with unix books palma and your kindle paperwhite or whatever you have so that is a quite good experience actually another thing that's good with the unix books palma is that you can raise and lower the brightness by doing this uh, as you see that's quite good to be able to do i think and you can also raise and lower the night light so you can do it quite red as you see here if you want or you can lower it to be like this so you can just do that by swiping up and down on the side of the device i think that's also a really great feature so all in all i think this is a great device i have tried to do this uh, as an ebook reader but i have installed some of the apps to replace that i don't want to use my smartphone at all anymore i will have only my apple watch app apple watch i mean and this onyx books palma always with me so i have installed some apps like a gmail um, google gboard keyboard and brave web browser and youtube studio and i have a file manager called solid explorer as you see there and also bitwarden with all my passwords so why by having all these apps i can log into websites i can do some file managing i can answer and see statistics from my youtube channel you um, with a youtube studio i can um, reply to comments i can read my mail and so on and by doing that i don't need to have this with me wherever i go because i can use this instead uh, when i'm connected to wi-fi at least so i think uh, that's a great user experience too so all in all uh, maybe i maybe don't can recommend this if you don't have other ebook readers i would not buy this as my only ebook reader but if if you use co-reader this device is great to have co-reader on and sync with your other ebook readers running co-reader so if you really need to be portable when you are away for example or at work or something that you need to have a an ebook reader as small as poss small as possible and usually with a smartphone form factor like this then i can highly recommend this but at home maybe you want to have a bigger larger better ebook reader and then you can have this as a combination and sync between them that is my recommendation actually so um, if you want to buy this don't only have it as your only ebook reader you need more ebook reader to be able to uh, feel satisfied with this so that is my recommendation to having this as your portable ebook reader and nothing else uh, so that is a kind of review i will do some more videos with it with a co-reader a, a bit more with my co-reader settings and so on but uh, otherwise other way i think you should uh, like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel okay Bye.